To those waiting with bated breath for booking laser sights. I have only one thing to say. Yes. Hello everyone, up here. So, you want to learn Thatcher? Great! Welcome to my Thatcher Operator Guide. Thatcher is a 2 armor, 2 speed attacker. Pretty good! And a supportive anti electronics operator, along the lines of Twitch and AQ, whose job entails of getting rid of the enemy utility. If you are not certain of which anti electronics operator to bring, I would recommend watching my meta discussion video, where I compare each of them to one another and telling you the situations in which they are the most useful. That being said, if you are certain in picking Thatcher, you have come to the right place. Thatcher is an amazing operator and one of the most useful characters on attack, while also being very easy to play. But why is that? Let's start by taking a look at this gadget. Nice. Thatcher's gadget, the EMP, away. is a grenade that destroys all defended electronics within 5 meters, regardless of any obstacles in the way, ignoring walls. This is especially important to counter breach denial, such as Kate's electric claws, mute's jammers and banded batteries, as unlike IQ and Twitch, you don't need to have a direct line of sight to counter defender electronic gadgets. Other than those gadgets, it also destroys Smoke's Babes, Capcan's EDDs, Jaeger's ADSs... Wait, 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 no! Valkyrie's cameras, legions and LS mines, Mozzie's pests and nitro cells. It also temporarily disables, but not destroys, Pulse's wall hacks, Vigil's cloak, Alibi's prismas, Clash's shield, Mozzie's drones and Echo's drone and Master's cameras. The latter two are especially important, as they will be much more vulnerable to attackers, since Echo's drone will lose its cloak and fall to the ground, and Master's evil eyes will have their shields opened up. The EMP will not affect any attacker electronics, so don't worry about accidentally messing up your teammates. This is one of the best gadgets on attacker side, just for the fact that it is incredibly easy to use. Just hit an EMP and listen for defender tears. Be careful not to throw those EMPs into Jaeger's ADSs, as previously mentioned, since you only get three of those things. As a Thatcher player, you should know where to throw those things for maximum efficiency. Reinforced walls and hatches is an obvious one, to help your hard breachers destroy them, but another important place you can throw them towards are doorways leading towards the objective, to destroy all potential traps waiting for you on the other side. Although, it will not disable Frost's welcome mats and Goya's shields, so you should keep that in mind. Other very good use of a Thatcher EMP is destroying Master's Evil Eyes and Echo drones, since they become easily destructible by using Thatcher's EMPs, although Twitch would be a much better fit for disabling evil eyes, while IQ would be a way better counter to Echo. Once again, refer to video. Other than that, don't overthink it, just throw your EMPs where you think enemy would keep their electronics. With his gadget out of the way, let us discuss his loadout, and oh boy, do you have some variety. Oy, oy, oy. On it, uh, 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 Thatcher has access to three primary weapons, the AR-33 AR, the L85A2 and the, the AR-33 is one of the better assault rifles in the game, with a pretty good 749 RPM, which, I assume, is a conscious decision by Ubisoft that they have made to not get sued by Heckler and Koch. The damage is quite good as well, standing at a tall and proud 41 damage per shot. The recoil is quite manageable and I enjoy using it with the vertical foregrip, flash hider and the ACOG whenever I feel like my fragging is going to take a backseat during the game I am playing. If I feel like fragging out though, I opt out for the holographic and the angle grip. The L85 is a much different beast, having a higher damage per shot at 47, but with a slightly lower fire rate at 680, and significantly lower recoil. Seriously, it doesn't even feel like I have to do anything with this gun to control it. Slap an ACOG on that bad boy and let it rip. Both of those guns are quite amazing. For his secondary weapon, Thatcher has the P226 pistol. It's quite a decent pistol, with a really good damage numbers, does a pretty good job as a finishing weapon, and uh, yeah, and that's it. Nothing else in his loadout. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Secondary gadgets, that's right. <laughs> Anyways, for the secondary gadgets, Thatcher has access to the Claymore and the Breaching Charges. Claymores can be especially amazing for you as a supportive operator, to prevent late around flanks and runouts, especially since you'll be on your drones and stuck outside of the building more often than not. The Breaching Charges can also be a great asset for destruction, if you need to open up a rotation for your teammates or to utilize some vertical gameplay. Pick one depending on which one your teammates doesn't have enough. Here's a hint. A single pack of breaching charges is more than enough for a single team. Yeah, that was the entirety of Thatcher's loadout. Nothing else. You two just need a bone. What did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you? I am your superior officer!
Thatcher, Thatcher, Thatcher. My old man, Thatcher. You know, there is a reason why everyone recommends Thatcher to newer players. There is literally no way a person can go wrong with him. He has an incredibly safe and useful gadget that one can use without even thinking, his guns are amazing for all kinds of players, really, and his playstyle consists of primarily staying back and trying not to die. Well, of course, it might be easy to look at the newer players blowing themselves up with the C4s and laugh. Think about what kind of experience those players are getting. And it's not like they're going to get absolutely demolished every single game they will play, especially considering the addition of the newcomer playlist as Operation Phantom Sight. And if you are one of those players who are new at the game and are just trying to look for a way to be useful for your team, that's great, you're already on a path to become a good player. Nay, a great player even. So listen to me very carefully and watch this Thatcher guide very closely. There are some things you must keep in mind when playing Thatcher. Number one, if your team has a hard breacher, like a Thermite or a Hibana, try to stay as close to them as possible. Since their jobs entail destroying reinforcements, your EMP grenades can be extremely useful at helping them out with that, by destroying stuff like Bandit's batteries and Mute Jammers. And if someone will try to attack the two of you, they are much less likely to succeed. This is also where your claimers come into play. Placing them down anywhere you think a defender might flank you from is a great way to defend yourself from a potential flank. If you have already helped out your fellow Harbreacher and you are feeling confident with yourself, great! Now you can easily go ahead and do your own thing. Thatcher's guns are all amazing and you can do quite the work of the enemy team if you are left to your own tools. I will now demonstrate a 1v5 Thatcher clutch to prove my point. If you don't feel so comfortable with fragging, that's perfectly fine. Thatcher is a great support and doesn't really have to hurry to get into the objective, so you can take your sweet time drawing for your teammate and your fraggers. And good intel can go a really long way in helping you win rounds. So next time you see a person with a negative KD, think twice before dissing them. They might be doing the work that nobody appreciates from the shadows. Kind of like warding in LOL or Dota, or healing in Overwatch. You can be the best fragger in the world, but if the enemy has superior intel, they will most likely win. One thing to say about Thatcher's gadget, it is 100% worth it to spend an EMP to destroy a master camera or an echo drone, since both of them become quite vulnerable when under the effects of your EMPs. But one thing that is absolutely not worth it when playing a Thatcher is trying to contest a bandit trick. If the enemy bandit is tricking the wall you are trying to breach, don't even bother wasting your EMPs on him. You only have 3 EMPs. He has 4 batteries. And 4 teammates, who might have electronic gadgets. Instead, try to look for new routes of approach and use your EMPs on more important gadgets, such as Jaeger ADSs and traps. Speaking of traps, if you have any EMP grenades left on you and you don't have anything else to do, it is a great idea to throw an EMP through any door you are thinking of going through, if you think or know that there are traps on that door, especially something like an Elamine, since you can't get rid of it in any other way with proper placement. Out of all the operators Thatcher doesn't counter, it's Mira. You can't do anything against proper mirror windows as Thatcher since your EMP doesn't disable her windows, nor do you have any ranged gadgets that can obscure her vision. And when it comes to operators that actually mesh quite well with Thatcher, I would say Thermite and Hibana take the top spots, since they are basically dependent on Thatcher EMPs to do their jobs properly. And I would say Thatcher works very well with entry fraggers, like Asher Finke, since Thatcher can support them greatly by droning them into the objective room and telling them about any rumors they have to get rid of. Also, IQ. If you have an IQ on your team, ask them about which rooms have the most gadgets to get rid of. That makes for a very quick gadget clear. Thatcher is one of the best operators in the game, for both beginners and veterans, and there's never anything wrong with picking him. In fact, the further up the ranks you climb, the more frequent Thatcher bands become. So enjoy your time playing as him, while still hitting that grind. Thanks.
Thank you very much for watching this Rainbow Six Siege Statue Guide, I hope you have learned something from it. If you did, leave a like, comment, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. If you are interested in more Thatcher content, I have made a 15 minute long video essay about the differences between every anti-electronics operator currently in the game, link in the description. However, if you are interested in more operator guides of a similar nature, click on the eye icon in the top right corner for some of my other operator guides. And don't forget, communication is key. Good luck, have a nice day. Behind, behind. Oh,